What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard back with another Division 2 video. Today is Monday, April 26th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. In today's video, my friends, I'd like to take some time and go over some of the feedback that you've sent the channel over the last week in regards to things such as, you know, world difficulty when it comes to farming, raid exclusive exotics, you know, using Discord, just a bunch of different stuff to go over. If you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really, really does help us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here, and our current one is for a PlayStation 5, and all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. We will be announcing the winner on July 4th of this year, and as I've mentioned in all of my videos, watching our content is not a requirement to win. Only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why you have the option of entering via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. Most of you know by now that one of my main goals in creating this channel was to create that forum where we work together, talk about issues in the game, things we like, all that good stuff. So if there's anything that you want me to talk about in a future video, please make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. Having said that, the first thing I want to talk about today is world difficulty when it comes to farming for exotics. And one of the things I mentioned in last week's video, or I should say I asked, was, you know, had any of you out there been able to get the Scorpio or the Memento who didn't pick it up in the previous season? Now, the main reason that I brought this question up is that we know the game has mentioned that the exotics from previous seasons are going to then be in the general loot pool. However, I was hearing from so many people out there saying that every time they farm for those two exotics, they're either getting the lullaby shotgun or Acosta's go bag. Now, thankfully, and again, this is all because of your awesome feedback, you guys. I appreciate it so much. So many new players or people who are just returning who missed previous seasons were able to confirm that they were able to get both the Scorpio and the Memento to drop. So again, my friends, it is definitely in the loot pool. Which now brings me to the topic of world difficulty when it comes to farming. And by far, one of the most commonly asked questions I get at the channel is, do you need to have your world settings to heroic to get an exotic item to drop? As we all know by now, in this game, the higher the world difficulty and the more directives you have active will increase the quality of the loot itself. However, when it comes to exotics from the feedback I got last week, most of you have been getting them on challenging or even lower. The other question a lot of you are asking is, can you get better loot in a group or is it better when you're playing solo? And my friends, it doesn't really matter. I would say, I mean, in my opinion or in my personal experience, I seem to get better loot when I'm playing solo in the open world, but much better loot in the summit when I'm playing in a group. And keep in mind, I don't have a dedicated group. I always do random matchmaking. And one of the best things about being in a group is in this game, this community, so many agents want to share different gear with you. So my friends, if you're new and you're at the end of the mission or whatever, wait around to see if anything drops for you. However, I think it's more than safe to say we all know that a game like this or any, you know, looter shooter, you're going to have great farming days and other days are going to be a complete and total dumpster fire. And let me know what your gameplay is like. Do you find better loot on your own in a group? Like, definitely let me know in the comments section down below. The next thing I'd like to talk about today has to do with raid exclusive items and if they should be introduced into the general loot pool. Now we've talked about this at the channel before, however I definitely wanted to bring it up as I think it's something to strongly consider. One of my favorite Division 2 content creators, Epic Slayers, actually put out a survey last week in regards to this topic and if you have not subscribed to his channel as yet, my friends, definitely go there. I will leave a link to it down below. Definitely check him out. Now, in regards to the survey that he put out, over 4,000 people voted, and 73% of those votes were for raid exclusive items to be put in the general loot pool. Now, I know this is a very polarizing subject in the game, so I do want to take a second and talk about both sides of the coin. And one thing I'd like to mention really quick as we start talking about this topic is please be respectful with your comments down below. I mean, I don't care if you do the raid, if you don't, none of that matters to me. All I care about is that we respect one another's opinion and again, create that form where we can actually talk about things going on in this game. Now on a personal note, I would love to see raid exclusive items be put into the general loot pool. And the main reason for that is it would bring so many people back to this game. I know so many gamers that really want to get these items, but they don't like the idea of doing the raid. And the fact of the matter is, there is nothing new to do in this game. It is all about farming, and it's fine. Like, I, you guys know how much I love this game. I play it every day, but having those items introduced to the general loot pool would bring so many people back. I mean, look what happened with the last, you know, Codename Nightmare event. 
And that thing was turned into an apparel event, and yet it showed us the biggest spike in players that we've seen in a really, really long time. So again, you know, this is just my opinion, but bringing those exotics to the open world and to the general loot pool could only help the game out. A few other important factors that I think people need to take into consideration are the fact that the raid has been out for a while, so the people that are going to do it have already done it, and not only that, they do not have matchmaking for the actual regular raid. And while I know there's discovery mode, which is cool, gives people an idea of what it's like, first of all, the, the uptick in difficulty is huge when you go from discovery to the regular, but putting that aside, there's no exotics in discovery mode, so so many people do not see the point in doing it. The other thing to keep in mind is that the raid has been out almost two years. It'll be two years, I think, on May 16th. That was when the first one came out. So by now, like I said a second ago, the people who have done it have done it. I get that it should be earned. Don't get me wrong. But again, introducing it even on Legendary wouldn't be a bad thing. One other thing I'd like to mention, and again, this is just my opinion, but I think they should have given us the option of either a four-person raid or an eight-person raid. Reason being is a lot of you have reached out to the channel saying you can get four people together, but eight is really difficult. So again, that's a change I would love to see in the game. With that being said, let's now talk about keeping the raid items where they are right now. And for so many people out there, I totally get where you're coming from. Like, these things were earned. Like, I mean, it wasn't a gimme, you know, you didn't just walk in and get it and it was totally easy, whatever. Like, you had to put in a ton of time to get these things, and I totally respect that. The other factor to keep in mind is that you need to have really solid communication when you're running these raids and you talk to anyone who's actually completed them. You know, there is a group or there are people obviously who know it by heart by now, but when you first start off, your communication needs to be on point. And with that being said, I'd now like to get into talking about, first of all, how amazing our community is. I know I've said that a thousand times, but especially when it comes to Discord and finding groups that are specifically there to really help with raid carries. Now, I know for many gamers out there, you don't like the idea of having to join another group in order to play a certain game. I get that. But when it comes to the raids and Discord, and especially our community, there are some amazing people out there that help out with raids on a weekly basis. And I mean, just to name a few, you have You Know The Vibes, you have Cowboy, you have Kamikaze Von Doom, and these are people who put their communities first. They have great Discord groups, so again, I will leave a link to all their channels down below. And as I start to wrap this video up, I want to take a minute and really thank you guys for your incredible support. And I mean, it's not about the views, it's not about the subs, it's about just how we interact together, and, and I cannot tell you how much it truly means to me. The last three weeks I've been off a little bit in regards to my schedule, just some stuff going on. I mean, everything is good, but it's just, you know, it just it's a hectic time. It's a crazy time for everyone. But thankfully, starting today, these videos will be out every Monday, then Vendor Reset Tuesday, then a build video Friday, and any other thing I can fit in there, I definitely will as well. And I know I've said this before, but I'm saying it again because a lot of you are still asking. I am going to continue to do Division 2 stuff. You're going to see stuff from Outriders. You're going to see stuff from Assassin's Creed. Again, those three days, my friends, are locked in. No matter what, you will always see Division content during that time. And not only that, but hopefully at one point soon, who knows when or if or whatever, but once we get a state of the game back, I'll be doing that on Wednesday or whatever day it comes out as well. So again, I still have high hopes for the future, and I'm really hoping that, you know, <laughs> the game really gives us something good really soon. On that note, I'm going to wrap this thing up. However, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, as always, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Nearby hostage situation detected. Come on! This game's out! I'll make you my goddamn.